Hi everyone, Ralph Garifano, PGA Golf Professional here at Hunter's Run. We are in a bunker in the short game area. We're going to talk about the important elements of hitting a bunker shot. I know a lot of people struggle with this shot, but we're going to talk about the difference between your sand wedge and your other clubs, which makes the wedge bounce. The sole on our sand wedge is made wider because, again, it is made to bounce. Most people make the error in a bunker where the leading edge digs in the sand. And first, we're going to make sure we have the club in an open position, set up where the wedge could bounce. And we're going to do some little drills here, just getting to splash a little bit of water out of the puddle. That's the splash we're looking to get. A lot of splash right there. Okay, now that we have an understanding of how the sole is meant to bounce, Let's bring the camera down if you would. We're gonna make a line in here. So we know it has to bounce. Now we have to make sure we can enter in the right spot. So I, wanna hover, I want you to hover over a line here and learn how to get that club to bounce in the line. If you can get it to bounce in the line and splash the right amount, then we're in business. Let's hit a couple of bunker shots now. So here we are, clubs in the sand, balls in the sand. Nice wide stance, get that club face open. That's how we make the sand wedge bounce here, and that's how we get some spin in the bunker. Okay, so again, in closing, very important, have the face slightly open so the club bounces. The sand wedge is designed to bounce, not dig. Nice wide stance, get into a little city posture, get a little wrist hinge, and let's get that bottom to splash a little water out of the puddle. Got a lot of spin on that ball. That's what you want right there. Hope to see you on the range next time.